What's up nerds, Fallout here, and we've got another god roll video on our hands. Today we're taking a look at a weapon I've been recommending a lot lately, including in one of my more recent videos, the top 10 weapons to farm for before Shadowkeep. It's the Soul Survivor, the sniper rifle you can get from farming either Reckoning or Gambit Prime. And even though I'm sure some of you out there are thirsty to click on heads in PvP, guess what? Today we're talking about the PvE god roll, and trust me, that's what you want to use this gun for. Oh sure, it'll probably do fine in Crucible if you're a crack shot, but that's not what this thing was made for. You wouldn't take a driver to a mini golf course, would you? Believe me, you shouldn't. I tried one time, and now I'm banned from the boardwalk. But you don't want to hear about my low tolerance to tequila, you want to hear about the Soul Survivor. It's a member of the Adaptive Frame family, so it doesn't fire lightning quick, but it's not too slow. Beginning in October with Shadowkeep, snipers are getting a thick with two C's damage buff to both majors and bosses in PvE, and the Soul Survivor is here to help you pump those bosses silly with damage. How exactly? Well, we'll get into that, don't you worry. Now, I know that by the time you're able to farm for this weapon again in the Reckoning, Shadow Keep will already be in full swing, and you might not want to farm for this weapon with all that hot new content we'll be swimming in. I hear that. Even still, if you have spare time, this gun will definitely still be worth the farm. And with that being said, let's take a look under the hood and find our PvE god roll by starting out on the far left in column 1, barrel options. Yeah, I know, barrel options are about as sexy as callus in a thong, but these options can make a difference on your gun. All the usual suspects are here, 9 total options on the table. In PvP, handling can make a big difference, but in PvE we're really really using this as a boss DPS machine. So we're gonna go with range. Range affects your damage drop off point and to a degree your weapon's accuracy, so even though it comes with a mild penalty to stability and handling, I think that full bore is the way to go. Although if you have either extended barrel or hammer forged rifling on your sole survivor, you'll be fine too. Now we're actually gonna shake things up and jump all the way over here to column 4. Why? Because, my vid, my rules. I'm doing this like a Tarantino film, we're jumping all over the place and it'll make sense in the end, don't worry about it. Well, we've only got 5 options here, technically 6 if you include the curated roll, which is the only way that Soul Survivor can roll Snapshot in column 4. Again though, we are talking about the PvE god roll, and Snapshot ain't it. So with the 5 options we have, let's weed out what we don't want. Demolitionist can be cool for a grenade heavy build, but that's primarily for Crucible, so that's out. Opening shot is great for extra accuracy and range on your opening shot, but again, mostly a PvP perk, where we're trying our absolute damnedest to hit another Guardian in their tiny little head as easily as we can. And last PvP perk to weed out, Slide shot. Extra range is cool, but we don't really gain a whole lot here from sliding into our DPS phases in PvE. Auto loading holster. Not bad for PvE, and although it's a great perk to have for some weapons, the winner here is Firing Line, an incredibly rare weapon perk, and basically the entire reason that the gun is coveted for damage dealing in PvE. Firing Line gives you increased crit damage when near two or more allies. Guess what? When you're in a PvE activity that involves group damage phases, especially in activities like a raid, it's really not hard at all to get this perk to activate. Stand near two allies? Piece of cake, and it's gonna deal a chunky 25% damage buff for your weapon. Considering you don't need to activate it on a kill or a melee or a whatever like kill clip swashbuckler or rampage firing line is very user friendly if the pve god roll is what you're after and your column 4 perk is anything but firing line i'd say a god roll you do not have now we're gonna hop all the way back to column 2 don't like how i'm jumping all over the place eh well too bad column 2 is mag perks and even though most times i would close my eyes and go with ricochet rounds that's not the plan for today and no, it's not because Ricochet Rounds got nerfed, it's still gonna be a good perk, we're passing over it because we want something that complements Firing Line and our eventual pick 
over in column three. Sure, we could go for more range because that's always nice to have. We could even go for something like armor piercing rounds or high cal rounds, both which have additional benefits in the land of PVE. Alloy Magazine might be a top tier pick for its lightning reload speed. Remember, in Shadowkeep, we will no longer have the ability to auto reload weapons with Luna Faction boots or with the Rally Barricade, F's in the chat. I think if you have Alloy, you will definitely be fine, but my picks here are really going to be either Extended Mag or Appended Mag. Now, even though the numbers on your screen say 20 and 30, those are data mined values that represent boosted mag inventory size, not the number of extra bullets that you get in the mag. That would be insane. A 30 bullet deep sniper mag? I can hear the sandbox team having a heart attack already. Anyway, even though on most other weapons, extended mag would give you more shots, on the Soul Survivor, both extended mag and appended mag give you only one extra bullet in your mag, taking it from four to five. That's not a wildly beneficial boost on paper, but trust me, it'll make sense when we hop over right now to column three, where we have six more options to choose from. Knowing that we want a DPS machine, we we want something that will complement heavy damage output against a boss. Once again, Snapshot ain't it. Ambitious Assassin has the benefit of letting you overflow the mag, but you still have to rapidly kill enemies beforehand to get it to activate, and that means you'll be wasting precious bullets that could have been better spent in a raid boss's face. Rapid Hit actually isn't bad, despite being mostly a handy PvP perk. Again, we'll need help in Shadow Keep reloading our weapons quickly, and Rapid Hit does have that benefit. Field Prep also isn't bad, because it bumps up your ammo reserve and gives you a faster reload when crouching. I'd say if you have field prep in column three, definitely not an imperfect roll by any means, but what I think we're looking for in column three is probably gonna boil down to either triple tap or fourth times the charm. Why? Well, once again, we wanna pump out DPS as hard as we can, giggity, with as few interruptions as possible. Not to beat a dead horse, but we can't auto reload our weapons anymore, and that is where these perks come into play. Remember how either extended or appended mag takes us from four bullets in the mag to five? Well, combine that with either triple tap or fourth times the charm, and guess what? You can now fire off seven shots in a row without needing to reload. Really, for both of them. It's actually not hard math. With fourth times the charm, you fire out four, get two back, then fire the remaining three for seven bullets total before reloading. And with triple tap, you fire out three, get one back, fire out three more, get another back, then fire out the last bullet, and then boom, seven shots in a row before reloading. How convenient. Of course, if you don't have five bullets in the mag, fourth times the charm is going to be the better pick. Fourth times the charm also has the benefit of giving you one chance to mess up, but still getting you seven shots before reloading. You know what? No more math. If you have five in the mag, both of these perks are great, and let's leave it at that. Masterwork perk. You know what? Even though range is pretty important on a soul survivor with the upcoming Luna Faction boots nerf, I'm going with reload on this one. Sure, the goal is to reload as infrequently as we can, but hey, every little bit helps. And with all of that in mind, let's review what is our PvE soul survivor god roll. Full bore in column one, appended or extended mag in column two, triple tap or fourth times the charm in column three, firing line in column four, and a reload masterwork. Yeah, fourth times the charm is slightly better by a hair, if you're gonna break my balls about it, but considering these piss poor weapon drop rates we gotta deal with in the game, if you have every god roll perk and triple tap, you shouldn't shed any tears at all. You'll be fine. Oh, and what weapon mod do we want to throw on? Because you people are harassing me about that a bunch lately. Just kidding, love all of you. It would be boss spec. Yeah, you could throw on backup mag for an even larger magazine size, but I think I want that extra damage. That's the name of the game after all. And there you have it, the PVE boss shredding soul survivor god roll. I know we are about to be super busy with shadow keep, but if you find the time, try to grab that gun if you can. Or who knows, maybe it's in your vault right now and you didn't even realize that you were sitting on gold. You can thank me later. I accept credit card numbers, high fives, and pizza.
If you enjoyed today's content, please click on the like button to help guide my future content. And if you haven't already, please click subscribe because it's free to do and it helps my channel grow. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.